Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is my first lecture on nerve and muscle physiology and I am going to discuss the glial cells. Glial cells are part of neural tissue. Now if we draw the outline of neural tissue then we can classify them into excitable and non-excitable cells. Excitable cells include neurons. These are 100 billion in number, approximately 100 billion in number. While the non-excitable cells include neuroglia cells or glial cells. These are 10 to 50 times more than neurons. Now if we classify the neuroglial cells on the basis of size then macroglial cells and microglial cells can be observed. Microglial cells are 10 to 15 percent of cells of CNS. These are phagocytic cells. These are resident macrophages. Previously it was thought that these phagocytic cells develop from monocytes. Monocytes were or uh, monocytes are macrophage progenitor cells. So these are considered as macrophage progenitor cells for microglia cells. But we know that if macrophage progenitor cell or MPCs these have to form the microglial cells then this rate should be very high to replace these microglial cells in CNS and in presence of blood brain barrier it is not possible. So these are resident macrophages and not developed from monocytes. The MPCs that is macrophage progenitor cells and macrophages can enter CNS in infection. So during infection these can enter the CNS but later this disconnects. Then blood brain barrier will not allow these cells to enter the CNS. So these are resident macrophages and not developing from the monocytes or MPCs. Now the macroglial cells. <coughs> 